Steve here with Tech Savvy Agent, and I'm going to show you three ways in which you can add a link onto a video. Two of these ways will be how to add a link onto a YouTube video, and the last way is going to be through the self hosted kind. And if you listen to Chris Smith, like I know a lot of you do, he says that self hosted video is the wave of the future, and you know what? I think I agree with him. So let's get right into it. Let's start off with YouTube here first. I'm going to go right into YouTube and I'm going to find an old video that, uh, that I did way back February 28th, 2010 on listings to leads. You can see that it has 907 views, so it had a decent amount of views and actually people still view this video here today. But I have a new and more up-to-date video that I want to take them to. So how can I do this on YouTube? Well, I logged into YouTube here, I'm going to go to the video, I'm going to hit the edit button. Then I'm going to go up to the top and hit annotations. And this will allow me to add a live link into this video. Steve has. And let's pause that video because it's pretty bad. Over here on the side, there's an add annotation button. I'm going to click on it and select note. Now, this isn't all gravy because the problem here is you can only add a link to another place within YouTube. YouTube does not want you to drive people away from their website. They want to keep them here. So in this particular example, this is okay because this is an older listings to leads video. We have an, a new one uh, that I did I think in early 2011 and we are going to link them to the new one. But a lot of people still find this video. So in this case, it's gonna work well. It's very easy to use, by the way. You simply just type in the note you know, for an updated updated video click here and I'm gonna make this pretty basic uh, but you can change the font and the color etc so I'll just say for an updated video click here I click the link button and I paste in the link to the newer YouTube video and you can see I can move this around and actually adjust where I want this to appear and the other cool part is stop <laughs> the other cool part is here that I can go in and I can say alright I want this to appear for the first you know, 20 seconds of the video and we can adjust the timeline down here on the bottom. So when someone hits play, here with that pops up, agent. you and see it turns from the arrow or the cursor into the little hand and, uh, and if this wasn't the demo mode, we click, if we were to click on it, it would go right to that new video. So great. Let's pause that again. So now that we know how to add a link onto a YouTube video from within YouTube that will take us somewhere else in YouTube, how do we add a link onto a YouTube video that might take us to our website? Here's option number two for you. This is a service called LinkedTube. Now, there's advantages and disadvantages here too because this only works if the video is on your blog or on your website. So, for example, if the video was on YouTube, it would not display the text link that's up on top. It's only when you take this code, after we create this here in a second, and paste it on our website. So let me show you how this would work. Basically, it's dead simple. There's nothing to even sign up for. You go to the website linktube.com, you paste in the video, that you want to uh, add a button to. So I just pasted in a video here uh, from Tech Savvy Agent. You create the button text. So I can go in here and I can say, click me now for info. And then you want to add a link in to where you want people to go. So we could just type in www and actually I'm not going to type in the whole HTTP but you do need to have that. It won't work unless you type in the HTTP. But just for an example I'll key in www.techsavvyagent.com. We can do show always and then we can even add some extra text. So you see how it says click me now for more info. Uh, we can do something like let me give you a more practical example. Uh, let's say you were using like a market snapshot system and you had a video on market conditions in your neighborhood and you wanted a button on the top of the page that said, hey, if you want a customized report for your neighborhood, click here or instant access to sold data. We might want to type that in, instant access to sold data. 
And of course, you don't have to have market snapshot. You can direct people to any page you want on your website, uh, but that would just be one good example. And then we can take this out here as well. So watch what happens when I hover over it. See how it says instant access to sold data? Get the free widget, because I didn't edit that. Uh, click now. All right, so we just created our own button on the top. This is exactly what it's gonna look like. And all we have to do now is go down to the bottom and hit save and get code. And this will give us the link that we can email out to people. So that's pretty nice. So we can use that in email marketing perhaps. Uh, this will also give us the embed code, which we can just copy and paste onto our blog or on our website. That is the only way that link is going to appear there on the top, but it is pretty cool. It gives people a call to action. We know that video marketing is taking off more than ever, uh, but what most video marketing is lacking is that call to action. So we went over two ways, LinkTube and annotations within YouTube. What about the last way? The last way is the paid way, and this service freaking rocks. Easy Video Player 2. Now you do need your own video hosting for this, but you can use uh, Amazon's new S3 service or, uh, or your own hosting, but it allows you to do so many things with your videos, everything from uh, incorporating social media to a buy button in your video to direct links to click me to analytics and everything else under the sun. Uh, the people that I know using this and I heard of using this uh, service absolutely love it and it works with a lot of mail campaigns as you can see down here on the bottom so this is called easy video player 2 and it allows you to really customize your videos much more than what you just saw right there so those are the three ways that I can help you with your video marketing today. I hope you picked up something. If you have any other suggestions or ideas or if you've been using something before in the past, uh, please let our community know. Post right here on the bottom of the page, on the blog, post on the Facebook page. Uh, and the more that we learn together, the better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.